Football saved my life because it gave me the drive, the determination and the passion to be successful. But it also gave me the friends and the camaraderie you need in life that when you're challenged, you've got something to fall back on. When I was 22 years of age, my father committed suicide. <sighs> Maybe the most devastating moment in my life. I didn't know what to do, but I was lucky that all these friends and people I'd met in football stretched out to me. I'm dyslexic and I learn a little bit differently. A teacher told me that I was a problem child, that I would amount to nothing and, and I really shouldn't dream too high. It was just tough at school. I was bullied and, and teased, but lucky enough for me, it was um, 1982 and it was a World Cup in Spain. And I always remember it so well that there was this kind of magical moment in my life where I, I found football. When I found out I could play and I could run about on a football pitch, it just became a safety zone for me, these kind of white lines of safety. I would cross over them and, and, and I would just have so much fun and all the teasing and bullying and, and everything else could just go away. In 1987, I, I'm a Paisley boy and I'm a Big St Martin fan and my dad took me to the, the 87 Cup final. And when St Martin won, he, he lifted me above his head and said, we did it, me man. And it was the most magical moment in my whole life. But of course, you went back to Monday morning and just the hardship of school and the bullying and everything else that went on. One Saturday, about three weeks after burying my dad, I got a phone call and it was from the guy that ran my football team. He said, wee man, we're coming to get you and you're playing on Saturday. <laughs> I said, I don't think I'm very ready for that. He says, we're coming to get you, wee man, don't worry about it. And I went and I played this game of football and I was nine again. I was running about as if I didn't have a care in the world. I walked off that football pitch that day. I just felt good about myself. I just had good people and friends around about me. And as I walked up to the change room, a person who I've never met from the opposition team, who I didn't know who he was, just wandered up beside me and said, well played today, wee man. He put his arm around me and he said, I heard about your dad. My brother committed suicide. You're going to be okay because we've got your back. And I just stopped and I just thought, how lucky am I to have all these friends? How lucky was I to find a sport that in your darkest day will look after you? And I decided that moment in my life that something must change. So I did it. I went back to college to try and do something in sports because it was my dream when I was five. And then life just seemed to just turn for me. It just seemed to be the positivity that I had in my life started to change. And all the time through it, I had friends and people cover my back at my football team saying, you'll do all right, wee man. I now coach my son's football team. And I watch as my son sometimes struggles at school, having that little bit of a challenge and dyslexia as well. And sometimes when he comes home and he's not had a good day at school, I say, mum, we'll go and get a ball, wee man. And the smile comes on his face. And he's 87 again, it's the cup final. I just see him just being happy and content. And when I coach his team, I just see all these wee young boys wanting to have a dream. And it's my job to give them that, as every volunteer gave me mine. As every day I felt bad about myself, they patted me on the back and told me I'd be okay, told me life would be good. And I just thank every volunteer, every friend I had, because without you, I have no idea where my life would have went. And that's why I love football. That's why I think it saved my life.